<laughs> Hello, Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you? <laughs> 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 oh dear. Um, has everyone recovered from the? I heard it was a pretty of a long flight back yesterday. Is everyone? Yeah, a long day okay? yesterday. We had a good, good training session this morning. Didn't do too much. Yeah. Uh, obviously, just getting the, the stiffness out of the limbs and looking forward to the game. No injury problems from Sunday. No, one or two little knocks is normal, but mm. I think by the time we get to kick off, everyone will be fit and available for selection. Yeah, I mean, you said you were going to analyse the Faroese on the flight. Um, what do you make of them as a, as a challenge? If you watched the, the game against Austria, they gave Austria a fright. Mm. The first 30 minutes especially, they got themselves in front. They're a physical team. They're physical. They're good at what they do. Uh, no, normally two banks of four defensive, uh, defensively. Solid. Two good strikers with a little bit of legs, a little bit of pace. And a threat on set plays because they have some really big ones. It's a, so in that respect, it's a totally different test in some ways to, to the two games you've just had, isn't it? And then the beauty of international football, you're always being asked different questions. Mm. So it's, it's good, it's another challenge for the players that are selected to start the game. And, and obviously we want the three points to finish the week with as many points as we can get. The, the two games you've played, I'm sure you'll, you know, you've talked about it, that the, the first half has probably not been what you would have wanted in terms of tempo and, and controlling the game. How, how much are you imposing on the players the fact that they need to to take the game by the scruff of the neck on Wednesday from the start? I didn't think on Sunday against Israel that we started that badly. Mm. I thought we, we started OK in the game. They had the first sort of half chance. We had a big chance from a corner with Scott McTominay. They had a spell, probably 25 minutes to maybe just after 30 minutes, where they had a really good grip on the game. They had control of the game, and I had to change it from the sideline. We just tweaked the system a little bit. And I thought we'd weathered that storm. Getting to half time, or if they can get to half time, now now we can we can we can readjust again in the dressing room and go out second half. But unfortunately, we conceded the goal just before half time, and that's what happens in football, and that changes the changes the, the manner of the game. And it, fortunately, this time we managed to respond and we got the goal. And when we scored so early in the second half, uh, I had a feeling that we could go on and win it, but it wasn't to be. Mm. Um, the the, ch the change in formation in the second half was very fruitful for you. Are you of a mind to, to start with that tomorrow? No, sometimes a, an in-game change can, can do that because you, you upset the opposition a little bit. They, suddenly we did something different that Israel hadn't seen before from us. We, we got a good control of the game, especially at the start of the second half. I think once the Israelis made some changes, they adapted better to the system and it was a more even game towards the end of the match. But we, we can start with three at the back, we can start with four at the back. Uh, I know the team, I know how we're going to play, but I'm not going to tell you. Do you think that expectations from the fans have increased more because we've now qualified for the Euros as well? That's a good thing. It's a good thing. We've been, I've been in this job a relatively short period of time. I know it seems like forever, but when you look at the, the actual games that we've played, it's been strung out over a long time. It was, I think it was nearly 10 months without international football. So it's a long time. We've managed to qualify for a major tournament for the first time in 23 years. And we don't want to forget that. We don't want to forget the good feeling. We, we don't want to be too. Uh, well, I don't want anybody to be too negative. We're certainly not negative in the camp. We, we're in a good place. The team are in a good place. Everyone understands what we're trying to achieve, and we'll try and achieve that going forward. But the the, the increase in expectations is is because we've done well. You talk about you, you don't want to forget that good feeling of qualifying for Euros. Is that why it's so important to, to win tomorrow so that you do head into the European Championships on a victory? It's important to win tomorrow in the context of the the World Cup qualifying group. We. We've got plenty more games to play after these after these three. Uh, another seven in the autumn, five month time. So a lot can change in five months. So we focus only, we don't think about the Euros, we focus only on the game tomorrow. In terms of the game tomorrow, you talked about the, the formation. Is it, is it the kind of game where you might want to try new things or is it the kind of game where you want to perfect the, the plan B, uh, as you might call it, in the 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1? It's a game we want to win. And whatever system we have to play to win the game, that's what we'll do. Is no, patience going to be a virtue tomorrow? Possibly. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> I've already said I, I can't read into the future. If we score in the first five minutes, patience will be less of a virtue. If it takes us a little bit longer to get in front, then patience will be, will be important. But you, listen, we have, we, have good, we have good players who play at a really good level. So they understand the, 
the problems that we can have in the game, they understand the way the game might pan out, but until the game actually starts, you don't know. So the players will know what to do as and when the, the game develops. How do you expect the used to approach the game? I think they'll come at us the same as they did with Austria. They went at Austria, they put the Austrians under pressure, put a lot of balls in the box, they've got a long throw, they've got good delivery on set plays, and they've got the goal off a set play. They've got a really big centre-half, who I believe plays in Ireland. Uh, and they're a threat. Physi physically, they're a threat. They're a good team. They're, not, they're a team that we have to expect to beat. We have to try and, obviously, we go to the game to get the points, but they're not, they're not the, the pharaohs that maybe they were 10, 20, 30 years ago when they first broke into the international scene. They're, they're well organised and they know what they're doing. In terms of the, the club game in a week now, is that, is that something that you look to the score and you look to the strength and depth as something to, to lean on? We have a good squad of players. Uh, everyone that's picked for the match will be ready to play. That's, that's as much as I can say. We understand the they need to get the three points, so maybe a little bit less experimentation or a, le a few less changes than, than maybe I'd make for a third match, but it'll be a team to win the game. In terms of the, the last competitive match before the Euros, you may not be saying it to them, but do you expect the players to feel themselves that if they want in that Euro group, or that squad, then you know, this is the game to perform? As I said before, not, not really. They, they need to perform in the context of qualifying for the World Cup in Qatar 2022, so that... That's what the game tomorrow is about. Steve, after the game on uh, on Thursday night, Scott McTominay said that he, he wants the team to be more aggressive and more arrogant. Do you think the team need to, to step up a year in that aspect as well? No, I don't think so. I, I know I know what Scott was saying. It, and it's not arrogance in the bad way. I, I think I touched on it in the last time I did the press. I think it was before the Israel game. It's not arrogance in the bad way. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a confidence, a belief. You have to go on the pitch. But I think we go to the pitch with that. Sometimes the opposition can upset you a little bit and then you have to respond. But I, I don't think there's any, there's any lack of belief. I think we can be better. I think we can have a mentality that's better. I think it's a... And I, I say it all the time when I come here. It's a, it's a group, a squad of players that are getting more and more international experience. And the more they get, the easier it will become to play in these, this type of match where you, go, you should go to the pitch and, and dominate the game from start to finish. But it's really difficult to do that at any level of international football. So you have to control your good moments and control your bad moments in the game, just the same. I just wanted to quickly ask you as well about um, friendlies before the European Championships. Are there, are there plans in place to organise one or two of them at the start of June? Yeah, there's, there's plans in place, but as, as I touched on previous press conferences, as and when, because obviously with the COVID restrictions, it's, it's pointless saying we're going to do this and then everything changes. So as and when, we'll, we'll, let, you, we'll let everybody know what we're going to do. But the plan is to play two friendlies before we go to the Euros. How hard is this one for a, a, a Scotland manager, a match against the Pharaohs at home where you, you're expected to win and you feel that you have to deliver a win, maybe even a big win? How difficult is it? No, it's, it's not no, any more I, difficult than any other game. I, guess I, I, go to, I go to every game expecting to win. I, we go to every game expecting to win. Um, we try to deliver that performance and that victory. So it's, it's no different from, from any other game. Last couple. And in terms of the rotation, are you, you're saying you're maybe less minded to, to make changes and um, to use the, the depth of the squad or, or, or not? No, I can use the depth of the squad if I feel it's the right thing to do, but we have to wait and see for tomorrow. I don't like discussing team, team selection the day before a game. I, I never have done, so I know what my team is. I've actually got it written down. It's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I know the formation. I know the players. I know how many rotations will be. It's not something to share with the, with the general public and the media before the game. You probably answered my next question. I'm just wondering, would you be minded to get one of the other goalkeepers or run out? That's not a criticism of uh, David Marshall at all, but I'm wondering if that's a position where you might look to get yeah, somebody Yeah, in. That, that's, that's possible. It's possible. Three, three, three games in a week, it's, it's possible to have a look at another goalkeeper. Good luck, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Cheers. Hi, Kenny. Kenny, how are the players approaching this match in terms of the fields? Is it a, a, a game you have to win, but a game you're also expected to win? How do you balance that out? Just approach it the way we always do. Um, prepare right, 
you know, go into it with the right attitude, right mentality. Um, we know we're, we know we're massive favourites. No getting away from that, but it'll be a tough game. They'll come here and they'll try and make it hard for us. We can't underestimate them. So it's um, it's one we need to be we need to be bang on for, and you know, hopefully we can get the right result. As the last competitive match before the Euros, how much of the players <coughs> wanting to send you know, sign this off with a big win to keep that that sort of momentum and try and build the positivity before this tournament? Of course, we every game we go into, we want to win. Um, that's going to be no different tomorrow. As I say, we are we are massive favourites, and you know we we've got so much quality in this squad, and that's why we are the favourites. So we need to bring that quality out. As I say, not underestimate the opponent we've got because they'll come here. We'll make they'll make it tough. We'll saw that you know upsets can happen. So it's down to how we approach the game and our mentality. The manager acknowledged that maybe expectations have raised now that the Euros team already qualified for. Have you felt that you know the last couple of games there's been that sort of pressure on you guys? Have you felt the expectations rising and the pressure increasing on this to, this campaign? Definitely, yeah, and it should because people can see that we're we're improving. People can see we're getting better. So you know, automatically expectation raises, and you know it's something that we we enjoy. We we want to feel that pressure, and we want to we want that expectation to be there to be you know competing against. You know these top teams and these top nations, and we want to be qualifying for more tournaments, and we've shown that we can do that. So it's a bit, you know, it's a bit consistency now. That's what it's down to for us. We know we've got the quality there. We've shown that, so it's about bringing it out more. Although this camp's been about the, the World Cup qualifiers, how beneficial has it been to have such a long time together ahead of the years? Yeah, it's been a bit stop start over over the last year, obviously, and you could see that we were making you know huge strides as a, as a team. Um, so it's to get a bit longer together is obviously better for the manager and the staff to to help improve us as a team and, and what we want to do and implement our style on on the game. So you know it's it's not always easy coming away for a week here and there every so often, but I think when you when you see the progression that's happening as players, it gives you confidence that we're only getting better. And you know, as I say, that the quality that we've got, we know the future's good for us. It's just about performing more and. You know, the consistency is a big thing for us now. Do you feel that everyone's trying to kind of raise their game that little bit more because you know what lies ahead as well? Everybody wants the, the same outcome now that we've had that success. Well, we've tasted that, you know, we've got the Euros there, that's there for us. And now we're, we're in another competition and we want that success again. You know, the feeling after the Serbia game is what everybody wants as much as you can in your career. For some people, it might not come along, but we know we've got the squad that we can do it, you know, more often. And it's down to us as, as players, as, as a team, as a group to, to really push this nation on and keep that going. Do you think in the, in the two games you've played, you've shown that swagger, that confidence that you say the players should enjoy and relish with that expectation level? Yeah, the last couple of games in, in patches, we, we have been really good. We've controlled last spells of the game. Um, of course, we've been in both games, wanting, wanting three points in both games and wanting to win, but it wasn't to be. But as I say, the consistency thing again, if we can perform for you know for larger spells of the game and be more consistent then we win these games and that's what we're pushing for um you know we didn't we didn't lose the game which is excellent but we want to go that next stage we'll go that one step further um you know there's a big three points up for grabs tomorrow and you know that's what we'll look to get do you then as a group feel perhaps you should have more points now off the back of the first two games than you do that's sitting with two just now we would love to have yeah. more points everybody would love to have more points um there's nothing we can do about that now. We can't influence that. It's, it's gone. We we went to win both games. Didn't happen. So we look forward now. That's all we can continue to do. That's what that's all we've done since the managers came in. Um, look what's ahead of us, and it's a fair win tomorrow. So three points. We can be sitting in a decent enough position in the group after feeling like we could have done more. So you know, hopefully we can lay a marker down tomorrow. Are the Pharaohs are totally different football examination compared to the two teams you've just played? Are they a much different kind of team to play? Well, everybody will say that they are a lesser football team. There's no doubt about that. Um, we'll go into these games as, this game is, is massive favourites. Maybe the other two we weren't so much. Um, and the expectation again is, is even higher getting into these games. As I say, it's down to us tomorrow. If we are right, if we apply ourselves right, we're prepared right, you know, we've done everything we that we can do in training. Um, you know, it's, it's about mentality and application now.
And there's plenty of options in central midfield, but Malaysia hasn't really seemed to find the right balance in there yet. Do you feel there's an opportunity for you to, to force your way into the start of the line, especially with a game like tomorrow? I hope so. Um, you know, if every opportunity I get, I want, I want to do as much as I can. If I get the opportunity tomorrow, I'll, I'll work as hard as I can to, to take that opportunity. That's not to say that I'll go and play at the Euros if I do well tomorrow, because I know this, the quality that's there and the position in front of me. Um, the last couple of games, you know, the boys have done excellent in there again. Um, and performing at a very high level week in, week out at their clubs. So yeah, everybody's pushing themselves and pushing each other on, which is excellent for us. You know, if Obviously, it's, it's disappointing not to be starting games, but you know you need to look at it and say, well, there's, there's quality there, so when I get my chance, I need to take it. So it's down to me. If I get a chance tomorrow, you know, hopefully I can take it. Is there a feeling in the squad, Kenny, that players are playing for Euro spots? I think, I think that's always there, but I don't think it changes how we apply ourselves. We make them away, we work as hard as we can. We try and improve each other, of course. You're always trying to impress because of what's there, um, and the next squad will be the Euros. So, you know, the managers obviously get decisions to make. There's there's plenty of quality that aren't here right now, um, that I'm sure are in managers' minds. So, it's down to everybody to work as hard as they can when we're away, try and impress the manager, of course, and then go back to your club and do as much as you can. The manager was saying he expects the players to have a go at Scotland tomorrow. Will that suit Scotland? It can do, aye, because I think we've got that quality. You know, if teams come after us, then we've got. You know, we've got very good footballers, we've saw that. Um, so if, if the, you know, we'll, we'll be ready for whatever the situation is, if they come and, and sit and make it hard to beat, then we'll, we'll be ready for that. If they come and have a go at us, then we're ready for that as well. We can't underestimate them. Um, as I say, we've saw people slit them up recently, and it's down to us to make sure that's not what happens tomorrow. Ken, if tomorrow goes the way you want it, and you're sitting with five points from nine and unbeaten in the opening three, how will things look to you? It, it'll look it'll look okay. Um, of course, could have been better, could have been worse. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll look after the game tomorrow, see where we're sitting, and then we'll look forward again. As I say, there's there's plenty of football to be played. There's plenty of games to be played. Um, we'll look after tomorrow, and we'll we'll do all we can to get the three points, and we'll take it from there. And your take on where Scotland are in terms of the bid to, to qualify, are you as, as confident as, as you ever were that Scotland can still make it to Qatar? Yeah, I think they've got to be. I keep mentioning the quality that's in the squad. Um, it's there. We, we know there's enough to qualify for tournaments. We've shown that. Again, we just need to keep producing um, on a regular basis now. And that's that's what it's down to. That's what everybody you know, mentioned, the expectation. We, we put that pressure on ourselves and so does everybody else. So... It's um it's down to us now and, and we know we've got the squad there so you know it's there's exciting times ahead and we want to qualify for the World Cup. That's what you know tomorrow's game's about, the next, you know, however many games are left in the group's about. That's that's what we'll look to do, qualify for the World Cup. Cheers, Kenny. Thank you. Thank you.